is CBS 2 News at 11. The library is a quiet place where kids can learn about the world, but a CBS 2 undercover investigation found some libraries are hotbeds of crime, things that can put kids in danger. Investigative reporter David Goldstein has the story. They're thought of as a safe haven where kids can escape into a world of books, libraries. After school, they're packed with children, biding the time until their parents get out of work. But look who they could be sitting next to. Our undercover camera caught this man using the library computer to view pornography right out in the open. And that's just the first chapter in a long list of crimes we found, along with a warning from this library security officer who wants to remain anonymous. I absolutely would not send my kid to any branch in the city of L.A. because they are unsafe. These incident reports obtained exclusively by CBS 2 News show what's going on in the L.A. City Library. Hundreds of pages of reports. We found a threat to kill a 13-year-old student. People carrying concealed weapons. In fact, these were confiscated at the library. Plus stabbings, syringes, and librarians being attacked. It was the most horrible experience I've ever had in the workplace. This librarian, who also wants to remain anonymous, says she was assaulted by a teenager and there was no one to stop it. There was no, no way, no security, no, no assistance when I needed it, uh, oh, and it was very ugly. I think that it's going to take somebody getting killed before management really pays attention. That's how bad it has gotten. Wendy McPherson has worked as a librarian in the L.A. City system for eight years and has seen it all. There are some branches that really have gotten so unsafe that there should be security there on all hours that it's open. We also uncovered libraries are havens for sex. While we watch this man use the library computer to watch porn, Incident reports also detail consensual sex in the bathrooms, groping between the book aisles, and loan sex at the computers. Our security officer says the library wants to keep this information under wraps. The management wants to cover this up because they don't want people to think these libraries are unsafe. But all you have to do is talk to any library staff member in these branches, they'll tell you how unsafe it really is. Overall, we found incidents are going up 683 in 2005, 646 already in just the first seven months of this year, breaking the myth that libraries are a safe place for kids. Parents need to understand that they need to accompany their children when they come to visit the public libraries. Ironically, the plan was for safer libraries this year. That's because in February, library security was consolidated under the city's General Services Police Department. Hundreds of officers were added citywide. But some librarians say security has actually gotten worse. Unarmed library security officers are now backed up by armed officers from the Office of Public Safety. But they not only have to answer calls in libraries, but 1,500 facilities citywide. Critics say the two departments are spread so thin, there's actually less security. How safe do you think the libraries are? But Police Chief Gary Newton defends say? the consolidation. I would, I would tell a parent that the libraries are safe. As, as I had said, there are, the statistics show that there are only about 25 incident reports generated per million visitors. He claims incidents are actually down, although he doesn't have numbers to back it up. But he candidly admits resources are stretched thin. In a perfect world, there would be more public safety staff to service our libraries and our recreation centers. But the reality is there's limited budget money within the city and we do the best we can with what we have. The chief is looking for more money, but until then, L.A.'s youth looking to learn in the libraries may be getting an unwanted education on crime. Now, the chief admits there are many vacancies that need to be filled in his department. The hope is once it is up to full staff, librarians and those who use the libraries will feel a lot safer. Paul Larson.